Hey there, I'm Ak. In this city skyline tutorial, I want to show you how to take the perfect screenshots, like you can see in the background, using just a few mods, which are linked in the description so you can follow along. And if you're also looking for how to make your game look realistic, there is a tutorial linked in the description. It is a little bit outdated, but I will do a new one soon. And if you don't want to miss out on future tutorials, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. So let's get to it, shall we? Got me a cup of coffee and loaded the Pine Peaks Valleys map, which is another building series on this channel, so if you want to check it out, the link is in the description as well. So first let's have a look at Cinematic Camera Extended. This gives us this nice field of view slider, so we can increase and decrease. I always go to about 30 if I want to have a nice uh, cam from a helicopter or plane or something. And then switch into the cam mode. Then let's find a nice angle on our city. Like that. So we got the residential in view, a little bit of the park on the side, the river up here. Maybe even a little bit more down like that. Oh, yeah. Up to you, whatever perspective you like. Also, let's make sure to keep that window open. If you close that window, the field of view will reset to default. If you open it again, back to 30. You can also get some nice wide shots like that. But I think 30 is a nice realistic field of view from which you would have from a plane or a helicopter or something. If you found the angle you like, hit F10 to open dynamic, uh, dynamic resolution. Depending on your PC, you can scale up the resolution quite a bit, up to 300. My PC is not the strongest, so I go with 200 and hit apply. You see, now everything is much more detailed. Hit F10 again, so the window goes away. And now we hit control and period. What that does is, it switches all the LODs to off. So that means uh, usually in the distance, buildings are not as detailed as the ones that are nearby. But now, they are all in the highest detail they can be in the full model. I hope that makes sense. Then make sure you get your cursor out of your screen. And to take a screenshot, you hit F12. And so the graphics card doesn't catch on fire. We hit control period again to disable U-Lot. Hit F10 again and switch dynamic resolution down to 100% again. You can see the frame rate <laughs> changes quite a lot. So now we are back up at 67, yeah, definitely above 60 FPS. And of course, that also works nicely for closer shots. You see, that's the default field of view. It all looks a little bit unrealistic. You wouldn't have that wide of a view if you would look out of a helicopter. So enable cinematic camera extended again with the 30 field of view. And you see that is displayed as the LOD. That is displayed as the LOD, so the game doesn't like it as much when you do that. Uh, but that's fine, that's what we have the U-Lot mod for. So go back and uh, that view, maybe scroll in a bit and do the same again. F10 up to 200, apply. F10 again and control period to switch to the U-Lot. And bam, everything looks nice and detailed again. You got this realistic field of view now. Move the cursor off the screen, hit F12 and you get a lovely screenshot. What also works nicely is this low angle shot from the river. So you would take a picture from the boat and maybe give this a higher field of view than 
to 30. Probably default is fine. That's what I used here, the default field of view. Or you could take a straight top-down view to show the grid of your city or the road layout or whatever. At the end, it's all up to you what you find appealing to look at or the angle. Just play around with the field of view and the tools at hand. And that's all there is to it. Using dynamic resolution, cinematic camera extended and ULOT. That's also how I take my screenshots and create my thumbnails. If you found this tutorial to be helpful, make sure to leave a comment and a like. I love to read your comments and it also helps the channel a lot. You can also subscribe to not miss out on future tutorials and content and share to let other people know how they can take better screenshots. Until then, have a great day. I see you next time. Bye bye.